Freddie's last vocal recording and last words. Freddie Mercury is one of the best singers of all time. The rock legend has sung some of the most influential lyrics of the 1900s, but what were the final words that Freddie spoke? Let's look at the legends behind Freddie's last words and the last song he ever recorded. Between studio recordings and bonus tracks, Freddie Mercury wrote and performed an incredible 70 songs over the course of 21 years with the British rock band Queen. The final full album he produced with the band from start to finish was Innuendo, which released the same year he died in 1991. While this was his final full-length project with the band, Freddie and the rest of Queen had finished recording the songs for Innuendo long before the album dropped in stores. So, while Innuendo was the last album Freddie released while he was still alive, the superstar actually appears on one last album made by the band, Made in Heaven, which came out four years after he died. You can hear Freddie Mercury's last vocal recording on this album. Freddie's final vocal recording was actually the lesser-known song called Mother Love that was co-written with Brian May. May was the architect behind Queen. He got the group together, so without him, Freddie may have never risen to fame. It's touching to know the friends worked together on Freddie's last vocal performance during his final years when his health was failing. In spite of Freddie's struggle with AIDS, he kept on building incredible songs right up until the end. Freddie and Brian recorded Mother Love over three days in the month of May from the 13th to the 16th, just a short time before Freddie would go knocking on Heaven's door. In the years after Freddie's passing, Brian May has spoken out about the process of writing that historic final song. Brian and Freddie wrote together and then would split off on their own for a while to write in solitude before reconvening. Then, they'd combine different parts or cut out different lines as the song began to take form. During their writing session, Freddie seemed almost hurried. He was somewhat detached and ominous compared to his usual fun-loving self. Brian said Freddie told him to write me stuff. I know I don't have very long. Keep writing me words. Keep giving me things I will sing. Then, you can do what you like with it afterwards, you know, finish it off. Brian would write short lines and snippets on whatever scraps of paper they had lying around. Freddie then sung each line three times. During these sessions, they didn't know what they were going to use for the final track, but Mercury wanted the band to have as many takes and as many options as possible so they could craft Mother Love when he wasn't around. Except, all this precaution and foresight took its toll on the sickly Mercury. When it came time to sing the final verse of the song, Freddie told May, I'm not up to this, and I need to go away and have a rest. I'll come back and finish it off. But Freddie never came back. So, how did Brian May and the rest of Queen finish off the track without Freddie's final lines? The band scrapped the original plan, and instead, they sampled Freddie's improv vocals that were recorded during Queen's historic concert on July 12, 1986, at Wembley Stadium. They combined that sample with the intro lines of One Vision and Tie Your Mother Down. After Freddie's final verse in the song, his close friend and bandmate Brian May sang the final verse that Freddie never got a chance to record. Brian's vocal sounded absolutely devastated, and this was one of the most heart-wrenching moments in Queen's catalog. As the song draws to a close, the band sampled a little bit of every Queen song ever recorded up till that point, and played them together at super speed through a physical tape machine. Included in this amazing montage is a cover of Goin' Back. The original Goin' Back was written by Carole King and Jerry Goffin, and Freddie covered it way back in 1972 as a B-side to I Can Hear Music. They also included covers like the one from the Ronettes that were sung by Larry Lurex in this segment. Did Queen spoil Freddie's legacy by including this Larry guy in his final send-off? Not quite. See, Larry Lurex was actually a pseudonym that Mercury used prior to his work with Queen. The song ends with a baby crying. Some fans have speculated the crying is Freddie himself, but film wasn't as readily accessible when he was born. The use of the crying is more for artistic symbolism than anything else. While the crying at the end of Mother Love represents Freddie's first vocals, 
What were the final words he ever spoke? This one is actually wrapped in some controversy. It's unknown who first spread some rumors of Brown Freddy's final words, but some sites will say that Freddy's final words were weird things like pee-pee. This is probably just the internet being the internet, since there's no evidence for outlandish claims like this. The tale of Freddy's final words actually changes depending on who you ask. Everyone who was close with the singer had their own final moments with them. Let's take a look at the first-hand accounts of the final words Freddy ever spoke. Mary Austin shared her account of Freddy's last days during an interview in 2013. Mary was Freddy's ex and lifelong friend. The couple were destined to be soulmates. But Freddy's openness about his sexuality drove a rift between them romantically. While they shared a close bond before Queen's success and even in his final moments, the semblance of a scar resurfaced. Austin and Mercury were watching a video of his last onstage performance with Queen when Freddie said, To think I used to be so handsome. It's a strange line to leave on. She said the line upset her, so maybe she left to process her emotions and then never got the chance to come back for a final goodbye. While most of the time we think of final words as those spoken by someone, some argue that Freddie's final words were those written to his friend and fellow music legend Elton John. In Elton John's book titled Love is the Cure, On Life, Loss, and the End of AIDS, he told the world that Freddie had prepared a Christmas gift for Elton before he passed away. Along with this gift, Freddie wrote a note. This note was unveiled after Mercury had passed, and it read, Dear Sharon, I thought you'd like this. Love, Melina. Happy Christmas. You might be thinking, Sharon, who's that? Well, as a running joke between the singers, Elton and Freddie would make up goofy names for each other, and this silly note may have been the final words that were ever shared with someone. Then there were his last words in a public appearance, which were, Thank you, good night. Freddie kept the paparazzi at bay for a long time near the end of his road, as the scathing headlines about his declining health made his mental health even worse. The reports were so bad that Freddie stopped his radiation treatment early just to avoid the public eye. These last words in a public presentation were spoken during Queen's acceptance speech for the 1990 Brit Awards. Brian May said much of the thank yous and so ons, but just like the end of Mother Love, Freddie stepped up right at the end to add his charm with that goodnight closer. Another important last moment with Freddie was his final music video. This powerful moment is near the top of Queen's most heartfelt and touching performances. The video for these Are the Days of Our Lives, was recorded in 1991, just a few months before Freddie passed away. At the end of the video, Freddie looks directly at the camera as he delivers the final line of the song, I Still Love You. Then there's Freddie Mercury's last performance with Queen, the one he was watching with Mary Austin just before he passed away. Queen's last live show with Mercury was in 1986, titled A Night of Summer Magic, that took place in Hertfordshire. The band closed with their second most famous track, We Are The Champions, which closed with the line, No time for losers, cause we are the champions. By many accounts, the final person to meet with Freddie was his longtime personal assistant, Peter Freestone. Peter recalled his final moments with Freddie, saying, The final time I saw him, he took my hand and said, thank you. I didn't know if he had decided that was it. He was going. There was nothing to stay alive for. I don't know if he was thanking me for everything over the 12 years or just for that last shift. I suppose it doesn't really matter, but the last time I saw him, he was relaxed and prepared. The last words Freddie ever said to his longtime assistant, Peter Freestone, were thank you. After that day, Freddie fell into a coma. Mary, Freddie's friend Dave Clark, and Freddie's lover Jim Hutton were by his side when he passed away on November 23, 1991. In the end, Freddie was around his fellow friends, and it's fitting that his final track was co-written with the man who helped found the band and elevate Freddie to immortal status. Speaking of co-written songs, did you hear about the time Freddie almost collaborated with Michael Jackson? We'll be making a video diving into that crazy story soon, so subscribe to the channel to get notified as soon as it comes out. Remember to like the video and leave a comment on your favorite Queen song lyric, and we'll see you next time.